Bristow's Right Royal Roundup. Kinsey Schofield is here. Morning, Kinsey. Hello. I'm not done putting my eyelashes on, so oh. I'm I'm here. I'm just it's there's just a process we're working on. Oh, all right. Well, in your own time. So are they both yeah. on now? They're on now. Let's just pray that one doesn't fly off in the middle of this thing. I, 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 see, I, I would never have known you wore false eyelashes, but you've referenced them a couple of times. I thought that you just had very, very full eyelashes, just naturally. Well, that's nice of you to say, because the internet has given me plenty of feedback about my fake lashes. Have they in what way? What do they say about your fake lashes? That they don't like them, but what do they know? What do they know? What on earth do they know about your fake lashes? And um, besides which, <laughs> I think that, that, that's a really weird, because they go after you for a lot of things that you say about the royals. And let's be honest, a lot of the Meghan and Harry lovers are utterly vile. I mean, some of the <laughs> things that are being said about the, the Princess of Wales and her hospital treatment and all of that stuff at the moment by them is absolutely repellent. It's awful. So... I would have thought there's a lot to go after you about with what you say. So it seems so desperate that they, they're not only going after what you say, but they're also going after your eyelashes. How strange. Yeah, I'm hashtag blessed. God, yeah, I'm, I'm super lucky. Yeah. Um, so how are you? I'm good. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. So there are a few royal stories around today, but the one that I want to uh, start with, which is slightly... Uh, unfortunate is it's actually about Harry Meghan. You sent this to me last night. You know, I was in a bar. I was being trendy last night. I was out with young people in a bar, you know, because I'm down yeah. with young people having a little boogie, a dance. You look like you look you look pained by that thought, Kinsey. No, not at all. Good. I was I'm visually stimulated by it. I'm probably <laughs> going to dream of it tonight. Bless you. Good God. I have a sleeping tablet beforehand. I bless you. Uh, OK, Harry's Africa Charity Rangers, and I quote here, raped and beat tribes people. I mean, it is the most astonishing headline. It's an exclusive by the Mail on Sunday, and they are saying that the leading conservation charity that Prince Harry helps run has been accused of operating... And get this, an armed militia engaged in beating, rape and torture of indigenous people in Africa. The Mail on Sunday have discovered, and this is in the Republic of Congo, horrific evidence of intimidation in the rainforests by guards managed and paid by the African Parks charity. Prince Harry was its president for six years until elevated to its governing board of directors. It's been it's backed by a billionaire. It manages huge swathes of forests and national parks in partnerships with governments. But the Mail on Sunday have found first-hand testimonies of atrocities inflicted on the Baka, which is an indigenous uh, people within that area. I mean, this is absolutely staggering, isn't it? It is, but because it's such a gentle uh, topic, I don't, I'm not going to give my opinion on it. Um, I'll just regurgitate the story that there was an investigation by the Mail on Sunday, uh, and they do say that they discovered deeply disturbing accusations of violence, rape, and torture of indigenous people in rainforests of the Republic of Congo by guards managed and paid for by the African Parks Charity. Um, now, Prince Harry was its president for six years. He was promoted recently to the governing board of directors. And um, no, I, I think that this is obviously a, a very upsetting story. It, it has a lot of people shocked. Um, Prince Harry has acknowledged it through Archwell. They told the mail that when Harry became aware of these serious allegations, he immediately escalated them to the CEO and chairman of the board of African Parks. They say that those are the appropriate people to handle next steps. I think that they're, you know, immediately trying to say, don't 
don't look to us for updates because we've passed the buck on to, to somebody that can actually make the change. Uh, in a formal statement responding to the Mail on Sunday's investigation, African Park said uh, that they have a zero tolerance policy for any form of abuse and they are committed to upholding the rights of local and indigenous people. Uh, obviously those are some clean responses probably looked through by three or four different attorneys um, but hopefully this particular article will move things forward and truly help to make some change because it sounds like these people have experienced what you know harry accepted an award uh, last week uh, when he accepted the Living Legends Aviation Award, that one, this charity is one of the charities that they credited for to justify his life as a living legend. So, you know, they've really got to make things right here if, they, if these allegations are well, true. Well, the charity is also saying that they've taken active steps to address these allegations. They've appointed an external law firm to assess their veracity. Any new allegations, including those cited in this argue, uh, article, uh, which I, you and I just quoted from, will form part of this ongoing review. Uh, because some of these allegations, I mean, it's seven pages of uh, the Mail on Sunday is in there, where um, it talks about a backer villager being handcuffed and whipped in front of his crying children. Um, campaigners are saying that they were warned of this abuse, the charity was warned years ago. Uh, apparently, they have tourists paying £10,000 to watch gorillas in the rainforest. Another story here of how an African parks guard um, of a, a, an alleged victim here raped me as I held on to my baby. Then I was paid £500 compensation. So they really do need to get to the bottom of it. They are saying that they are going to. My question for you, though, and I realise you don't want to sort of comment either way on the details and I think that's fair but is it fair to um how, how fair is it to tie Prince Harry to this because I, I think it is fair to say clearly he would have had no idea that his involvement in this charity would in any way lead to any kind of connection to these sorts of horrific activities so is it unfair to tie his name to this so much? Or, if he is a director and he's putting his name to this stuff, does it show that perhaps he should have, you know, that, that, that when you are someone in the public eye of his stature, or anyone who's in the public eye, that maybe, you know, you need to know what that entails. You need to know what that charity you're putting your name to is actually doing. In the grand scheme of things, I think his name being associated with the charity is a blessing because it's elevated it to the level that it has. I think things like this happen every day all over the world, unfortunately. And because Prince Harry's name is associated with it, it landed on the front page of the Mail on Sunday and it's being taken very seriously. You know, does Harry need to be more invested and associated in the things that are attached to his name? I tell you that this is a good example of how Harry, um, you know, how I question Harry's judgment away from the British royal family, because if he were still working within that umbrella, there would be a team of individuals that would stay on top of these issues. Um, and, and it wouldn't have gotten to this point. We're gonna talk about another story later where one of Charles's charities has somebody that is in, in a questionable position. That's not something that have could have been stopped six months from now. The conversation we're having about Harry's charity could have, that, that could have been nipped in the bud a long time ago because Harry would have had people that worked for him within the palace that would have been staying on top of any sort of allegations like this to ensure that they weren't true that Harry, you know Harry would have released a statement before the mail on Sunday would have released this article and said this is uh, this is egregious and and he was you know like he, he was appalled and and didn't um didn't realize the the severity of, of the issue you know I just think that if he was still under the protective umbrella of the palace that 
this we wouldn't have gotten to this point but at the same time i see the value in his name being associated yeah. with it because we're go we're talking about it and things might actually change yeah I, I i i get what you're saying and of course although you're right to say that having that layer of royal protection might have meant that he would have been given awareness of of these allegations a lot sooner that doesn't that isn't always the case i mean i remember you and i joking about the story of the then Prince Charles accepting um, bags, carrier bags, full of cash for the Prince's Trust, which at the time, um, you know, was 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 horrifically misjudged. I think I can't remember what was it a Harrods bag full of cash. It, it wasn't a Harrods bag, but it was similar to it. Yeah. Or Fortnum and Mason, or it was some it was some yeah, like zhuzhi store in London, a carrier bag just like full of euros or something that he was given and so that didn't stop that controversy happening by him being a part of uh you know a senior member of the royal family which of course harry no longer is so i, I think there's a real lesson here in if you're going to put your name to a charity like this you need to accept that that you then as you have pointed out become the face and the name of the great things that charity does and you can elevate it but also then if there are allegations and of course this isn't the only charity that there have been allegations like this there have been allegations in the past for oxfam and various other charities as well where horrific things have been happening on the front line if your face is is associated with that charity your face is going to be associated with the bad things as well